anger on the streets of Istanbul. Hundreds of protesters gathered outside the U.S. consulate to protest U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. They say Trump's controversial campaign to transfer the U.S. embassy from Tel Aviv is illegal. This is a big conspiracy against Muslims and most of us seem unaware of it. We are here to say no to persecution. We want our voices to be heard. These protesters, just like their government, maintain that any decision on the final status of Jerusalem has to be an integral part of a peace deal between the Palestinians and the Israelis. They say President Trump's decision is an insult to 1.5 billion Muslims across the world. The Turkish government has also warned of dangerous repercussions to Trump's decision. They say it could plunge the Middle East and the world into what it called an endless crisis. Following a meeting with Jordanian King Abdullah, who is visiting Turkey, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan joined the chorus of condemnation. Any step to change Jerusalem's legal status as affirmed numerously by UN resolutions should be rejected. Nobody has the right to play with the fate of millions for their personal ambitions. Such measures would only work to the advantage of terrorist organizations. Jordan's King Abdullah warned the decision would have dangerous repercussions on security and stability. Therefore, it is imperative now uh, to work fast to reach a final status solution and a peace agreement between Palestinians and Israelis. And this must allow Palestinians to establish their independent state side by side with Israel and its capital in East Jerusalem. More protests are also planned across the country. Of all the issues at the heart of the enduring conflict between Israel and Palestinians, none is as sensitive as the status of Jerusalem. The holy city has been at the center of peacemaking efforts for decades. Donald Trump's approach say these Turkish protesters threatens to smash a long-standing international consensus in a dangerous way. Mohammed Adwal Jazeera, Istanbul.